What's up YouTube? Today's Geeky Acrylics video, I'm showing you my second Corpse Husband Funko Pop. Uh, I'll link the video to my first one in the description below if you want to check that one out and you haven't already. This is created using polymer clay over existing Funko Pop pieces. This was done to create a mashup of Corpse and his, and his Tribe 9 anime character. This is supposed to be similar to his Twitter profile pic, if you've ever seen it, where it's like half Corpse face and half um, his Tribe 9 character. But, uh, you know, I messed up. Um, here you'll see I'm sculpting a uniform. I'm going to show you clips periodically of this Funko body in the character's uniform that I spent all the time sculpting that um, you're not going to see in the final product. It's It's tragic, really. Um, he was supposed to be in the uniform standing on a brick base to match the baseball setting. Because, you know, Tribe 9 is like this futuristic baseball game played on city rooftops. Um, pretty brutal to be ex as, as to be expected, but um, cool, brutal game of baseball. And unfortunately, I, ma I made an oopsie. I think the base came out really well. I love the mask, but... Uh, I had to scrap the body completely. Um, I learned early on in my Adventures with Polymer Clay to always check and make sure that the heads and bodies fit together before baking. And and I did. Um, because once it's baked, there's really not a lot you can fix. Um, but even though I checked and it definitely fit before baking, what I wasn't careful on was how I placed the head in the oven. Um, now, if you're not familiar with polymer clay, you bake it in an oven and it actually gets in a, you know, softer, more fragile state before you actually take it out and it cools and hardens. Uh, so during that time, I didn't think thoroughly about how I place it in the oven. And even though it fit beforehand, um, the weight of the chin part of the mask sagged a little bit um, while while baking. So it, it got super hot, obviously, and the clay softened and it kind of drooped down a little. It was so unnoticeable. Like I didn't even notice it until I was already painting. So basically that kept the head from fitting on because the chin was tilted down and it was blocking like the chest part. So it would not, it was not going to work. Uh, I probably should have taken a clip to <laughs> show you guys, but I was devastated and I didn't have any Funko bodies that I could sculpt on and the head still fit. Um, there just wasn't much space left. Uh, luckily, I found a body that was thin enough that just as long as I just paint it, I could get a decent look. It's just unfortunate that I couldn't sculpt the outfit that I wanted and, and make the uniform more accurate to the show. Um, but I had to make the best of a tough situation. Like the mask took count. Oh man, there it is again. Oh, it's tragic watching this. You know, honestly, the painted version looks better because I didn't have to sculpt clay over it. So it looks a, a little bit cleaner, obviously. So I guess it's not a huge loss, but um, the the mask I just couldn't start over with. I, I really loved it. It came out well. And honestly, it took a lot of time. Um, the mask itself, I probably spent about three nights of sculpting. No, multiple nights of sculpting. Three times I started over um, because it didn't have quite the look that I wanted. So I spent a lot of time on that mask trying to get it to look um, how I would think a, a mashup of his mask would look. Um, but you know what? Let me know what you think. If you're a fan of Corpse or Tribe 9, did, did I at least capture them well? Let me know in the comments below. Um, after baking, obviously, you'll see here that I primed and painted them with uh, acrylic paints. If you want to know how to make your own customs, I'll link my tutorials in the description below. I got a bunch of things that talk about working with polymer clay and how, how to design a custom Funko. Um, so yeah, I will link those for you.
Also consider smashing the like button and dropping a comment for the YouTube algorithms. Um, I'm still a small channel and it really helps. Um, I'm also on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, for whatever reason, I am struggling to get uh, traction here on YouTube. Still on the road to a thousand followers. And struggling to get Corpse to see this. It it got pretty big on TikTok. Um, but he hasn't seen it yet. Hopefully he will. Uh, there's a side-by-side -side of the two outfits. So you'll see one doesn't really look like the character's outfit. But I use the colors to try to still make it um, doable there. <laughs> uh, just not what I, I wanted for the, the final results. Um, but yeah, let me know which version of my Corpse Funkos is your favorite. I really love this metal mask uh, for the Tribe 9 piece. But the OG Corpse mask is really awesome too. Um, They're both really fun to create. This one might be a little more stressful than the first one, but that's okay. Um, I treat every problem I encounter in, in art as just a learning experience and, and just grow from it. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave you with the final shots. I hope you enjoyed and we'll come back for the next video. And if so, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.